Have you been hurt by the people in your church? It's not surprising. It's not the people that aren't important to us that hurt us. No, it is the people we have opened ourselves up to, who we have shared our vulnerabilities with, who we have cared for that have the ability to cause us grief. The people that hurt us the greatest are often our partners, our own family, our friends, those who are closest to us. So no, it's not surprising that those in our church family can hurt us deeply. I've been a Christian for half a century and I've been hurt often by those in my church through gossip, spiteful acts or words, through a stab in the back. And I have often thought, well, stuff the lot of them, I'm off. It was when I was thinking such thoughts that this Bible story came to mind. Jesus had risen from the dead. He had met the disciples early in the morning by the side of the lake and had made them breakfast. As they were finishing up, he sidled over to Peter, the disciple who had denied him three times. And he asked him, Do you love me, Simon, more than these? And Peter said, Of course, you know, we're mates, Lord. Then Jesus said to him, Then feed my lambs. And he pointed to the other disciples. Now, the Bible doesn't say what went through Peter's mind at that time, but I imagine he thought this. What? Feed this useless lot? When they came to arrest you, I went, grabbed a sword, and, and, and went to defend you. We had more than one sword, and we had more than just me. Where were they, hey? Where were they, Lord, when we needed them? Feed them? You've got to be joking. They don't deserve to be fed. Then Jesus asked him again, Simon, do you truly love me? And Peter said, well, of course you know that I like you. Then Jesus said, feed my sheep. And I have a feeling Peter thought, feed that lot? Where were they when they took you to court? They all ran away, but not me. I hung in there. Well, at least until my cover was blown and I denied you those three times. I'm so sorry for that, Lord. But, but they didn't even go that far. Oh, no, they deserted us in the garden. Why should I waste my time feeding them? They didn't give me a crumb of support when we needed them. And then Jesus asked him a third time. Well, do you like me, Peter? And Peter broke down and cried. Oh, Lord, you know all things. You know that I, I love you with my whole being, Lord God. And Jesus said, then feed my sheep. You may be hurt. You may be feeling deserted, alone, betrayed. But Jesus calls you to not desert the church, but to feed his sheep. Continue to love them, care for them, forgive them. Jesus says, by this everyone will know that you are my disciples if you love one another. Now we know that Peter had a problem with forgiving. He once came to Jesus and asked, Lord, how many times shall I forgive my brother or sister who, who sins against me? Uh, up to seven times? Jesus answered, I tell you, not seven times, but seventy-seven times. Jesus also said, Do not judge, and you will not be judged. Do not condemn, and you will not be condemned. Forgive and you will be forgiven. So what are you waiting for? Forgive and care for and feed those in your church. Yes, even that person. Well, if this video spoke to you, catch more of Mike's stories on his channel by subscribing and give him a like. And, and forgive me for asking. <laughs> Hopefully, see you in the next video.